All right, welcome everybody. We're going to go after Steve, who's got a couple of interesting um, projects on the go. I'll just add him in now. He can int introduce himself and um, we'll take it from there. Evening, everyone. We're giving this a trial for Northwest Kit Car. Um, start off by showing you a BAM engine or the Audi TT engine, 225 brake horsepower. May I ask yourself, what's that going in? Well, first of all, what's it going to be strapped to? <clears throat> it's going to be strapped to a Volkswagen Passat gearbox upside down. This again will give you another clue. And there's a little sneaky peek at what it's going into. So for all you kit car lovers out there, it's going in to a Corvin kit car. Nice. So this is based on the Porsche 930. It's actually the same size as the Porsche 930. And interesting, it's got the same glass um, as the Porsche 930 in the same dimensions. Even has the same interior, which is part done at the moment. Same door cards, same seats, same dash. I've actually got the proper dash on the other side of the garage. Same door cards, rear seats, etc. Interestingly, when they first started making these, uh, people started contacting Porsche to try and buy the fiberglass wings, doors, and the um, the rear spoiler to save themselves on the weight with the original Porsche 911s, 930s. Really? So yeah. One of these, yeah. I, never knew, I never knew that. That's how Porsche found out about them and uh, started lawsuits against Corvin to try and stop them producing them. Right. So <clears throat> what's quite unusual about this one is it's got a proper registration on it. It's not a Q-plate, and it's registered yeah. as a Corvin Turbo. So it actually sits quite nice. So this has got what they call the Corvin chassis. It's not the Volkswagen Beetle chassis. It's a Corvin chassis front to rear with Porsche 944 rear suspension. However, it does have the Type 3 suspension on the front, which we yet to obviously test and, and see how it will do. I'm, when I'm they were originally liking, built... Liking those wheels as well. What wheels are those? Yeah, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. They're not real Porsche ones. They're five stud, but they're not Porsche ones. Yeah, looking very Posh, though. I like that. Yeah, I think they're composite. Composite, is it? Um, so when they were first built, these originally in the engines at the back, a lot of people, for ease, put the Beetle engines in. This one originally had the yeah. um, the RS Turbo 1.6 off to the Ford Escorts in when it was originally uh, built. The last owner sold that for obviously for Megabox, and I'll be replacing that with the Audi engine. So it's a long term yeah. project, a lot of work to do. Um, but obviously, hopefully, it looks you, you'll agree with me, it looks nice and it's it lots looks, of potential there. It looks very nice. We've got a couple of owners on the Northwest Kit Car and it's Club that have got Covins as well, haven't we? Yeah, John's got one, John Gaskell's got a lovely convertible John, one. John Gaskell, yeah, he's got the stripes on his. You plan to put stripes on that as well. I don't think so, no. We'll leave it as she is. <laughs> I think I think if the engine transplant goes well on this, then maybe John will uh, do the same transplant. <laughs> but the reason we're in the garage tonight is not working on this. This is on hold at the moment because it comes to the conclusion it's uh, it's I'll not have it on the road for this year. So we're working on the uh, Lotus Alan tonight. I've seen so pictures of that. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So it's an M100. It's yeah. the only Lotus that they made, which was front-wheel drive, powered by the Zuzu 1.6 turbo engine. So yeah. it's about 163 brake horsepower. Anybody that knows me will understand they'll be putting a chip in it to take it just over 200. Now, that's, um, the, that's the fly, not the rear. Flywheel, yeah. not the rear. Yeah. Yeah, so realistically, it's, it's about six and a half seconds, not to 60. So for its age, 30 years old, it was yeah. no slouch in its day. It'll be a bit quicker than that when I've chipped it up, but... We're having a slight issue at the moment with the uh, bit of overheating, which we knew about. Um, so we just stripped the water pump off it to to replace it and have a look. A few other things. But yeah, they're a, they're a nice car. They're lovely to drive, but obviously compared to uh, our kit cars, it's a lot more solid. But you'll see me knocking yeah. about in it for the next few months whilst we're working on the Corvin. I'm, I'm going to say, that, I mean, look at the repair what you're doing. When can I bring my car round? <laughs> it's been a bugger of a job I'll tell you what if Lotus could have put a screw a bolt or a cable or a wire in the way they've done it they yeah. couldn't have put any more in it's really yeah. awkward to do good old Lotus and we know what it stands for yeah yeah right that's me signing out so hopefully this uh, live streams works it's the first one we've tried isn't it so 
yeah. was a bit guinea pig tonight dropped on me. Yeah, it was a bit. Yeah, sorry about that, um, Steve. But yeah, no, yeah, fine. Okay, we'll, we'll catch up later, mate. And more on your progress on your cars. No worries. Night's all. all right. Good to good to speak to you again. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye.